if you have put a comment down there and haven't just darted straight to the comment section to start berating me, which is more useful? So hi everyone and welcome to the channel and tonight's video, tonight, today, whenever you're watching this video is going to be about airspeed indicators. Now this is more for the sub 70 and lighter end of, uh, of the, the clan that fly but it's a really good discussion point because I see it so many times on the forums. I need an ASI, I need a speed airspeed indicator, what airspeed indicator are you using? I need to know this information for landing etc etc. I can guarantee you of all the times I've been flying my machine I very rarely, I think it's about three occasions, I've known what speed I'm doing and that's because I wanted to know what air speed the air wing was doing, not what my landing speed's doing. So this device here, most will have seen these before, uh, it's the Hall air speed indicator. Uh, I'm actually going to detract, I'm actually going to smash this one up later on because they are absolutely pointless for when you're flying a sub 70 and we're going to chat about why in this video. So stay tuned as to why I think they're absolutely pointless. Cool, there's Bill. Now you may have seen Bill in the previous video who got a little bit annoyed with me <laughs> that uh, I'd accidentally left him. And uh, he made a hand gesture, which I couldn't quite see because of the sunshine, but I'm sure it wasn't polite. But no, Bill's cool. Um, we're going to go off this evening. Um, there's Fred ahead of us. On your own tonight. You lost your passenger. <laughs> One of the guys from Park Hall frequently comes in with his dad. It's definitely a nice evening. I don't know how many more of these we're going to get. It's uh, pretty much six o'clock. Probably go about another 40 minutes or so. Two balloons up, calm winds from the south. It's warm, although I've got my gloves on at the minute. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go off on a local flight uh, around Carsington Water. If you're not sure where Carsington Water is, here it is on the screen. And I'm letting Fred do the navigation tonight. I'm just being his support. Um, we've done nav flights together already in the in the Quantum. We've been up to uh, to Bakewell and Chatsworth House and everything. All just some basic visual nav. But uh, it's just nice for him to get out. Um, and just stretch his legs a bit further than when you saw him in the previous video. Um, and it's great from my perspective to just see people on their journey. Apparently I'm doing... 9.8 miles an hour. I don't believe it. Dynamo traffic. Golf, Foxtrot, Whisker, Lima, Romeo, lining up runway 19 for departure. Right, all's good. Check's complete. Dynamo traffic. Golf, Lima, Romeo's rolling. Oh wow! One, two, three, four, five, so that's seven balloons up tonight. And I can't go and chase any of them. Look at that. They might be there when we come back. That's gonna be cool. There's six there now, there's more that's launched. It is absolutely butter air. That smoke's pretty much going straight up. Threads off like a rocket. I've never been flying when there's so many balloons up. So let's talk about airspeed indicators for a flex wing. So it might sound a bit like I was trying to make a point in my, my intro to the video, but it's a question I get frequently. And it, it's part of the brief that I sometimes give when I take trial flights in that if all the instruments in a flex wing fail, and in fact, in a PB, apart from a compass, Ignore that, because I routinely fly without my GPS and vertical speed indicator. You can quite happily fly it. You've got your attitude, which tells you whether the nose are up or down, left or right. It doesn't require any batteries. And you have this wonderful thing called hands-off trim. And when I've tried to do the previous flights to work out what speed it flies at, that's the only time I actually had an airspeed indicator on it. And I was balancing that with the ground speed to try and work out in four directions to work out what, wing, wing, what the wing speed was. So, in short, 
the aircraft will fly at hands-off trim. If you came in to land at hands-off trim, you're fast enough. The aircraft flies. If you're this side of hands-off trim, you're going to be faster and you're going to have more energy. So generally when you see me landing in the PB, because it doesn't come down, I'm pulling back on the bar because I want more speed. I want more speed and more control. If I'm forward of hands-off trim, I'm going to be slower than that speed. So we know that the aircraft flies quite happily at hands-off speed, either in the climb or in the descent. So why do you need an airspeed indicator? The wing tells you what's going on. That's the joy of it. That's, that's generally why I think for a sub-70 that the, it's too much information. It could be inaccurate, it could stick and give you false information. Whereas the bar position is always telling you what your airspeed is. Faster. Slower. It's as simple as that. If you think I'm wrong, and you think there's a different there's a different reason that you want an airspeed indicator, then by all means, drop uh, your thoughts in the comment. I'm not saying that's my mindset. That's just my thoughts and opinions. But equally so, it's been valid for four years of flying this aeroplane. I don't have one. Don't need one. Let's go faster. Okay. Now, caveat that with the fact that I've got a GPS that tells me my ground speed. If you have put a comment down there and haven't just darted straight to the comment section to start berating me, which is more useful, airspeed or ground speed? Because I'm going somewhere, my personal opinion would be that my ground speed is more useful than my airspeed. Because it's going to tell me how long it's going, it's going to take me to get there, physically. It's like driving a car. That's my thoughts. I'm now going to enjoy this wonderful evening. Fred, you're in orbit, mate. <laughs> it's in absolute orbit. I've done a cruise climb because I'm trying to be frugal with the old fuel. We've got an EasyJet and Fred. And I'm not sure which one's going to win. I think the EasyJet's going to win because he's faster. So I'm going to try and catch up with Fred now. Increase the power. Maintain the attitude. There's 50, 51, 52 miles an hour, 53. Suck the gut in, 55, 56, 57, 56, 57. Come on, 57. Come on, 57. Come on, 57. Nope. 57. There, 58. Yay, 58 mile an hour. And relax back. So the route that Fred and I have agreed is to go on the south side of Carsington Water, which looks very flat and nicely full for this time of year. We're going to loop round Carsington Water, keeping the wind turbines where they are, routing back in to Darley Moor. Just don't go any higher, Fred. Thank you.
Starting more traffic, Gold Foxtrot, Whiskey, Lima, Romeo, two ship of flex wings inbound from the northwest, correction, northeast, four miles to run for overhead joint for runway 19 right hand, Darlingmore. Uh, set up nine nine three. Okay, we're on fifteen hundred foot overhead. So, had a wonderful flight. I think so far tonight, I've counted ten balloons. And if I had a little bit more fuel, I'd be going off and having a play with them tonight. Clearly, with some safe parameters, but um, yeah, tonight. It's all about Fred. Interestingly enough, here's a thought. How many of you that follow the channel that fly have someone that's mentored them and that have set them on a good path in their aviation flying hobby or otherwise? Because um, I feel quite privileged that there's people in my life that have really, you know, all the way through my, uh, my flying path, I don't want to say career, um, because it's a journey. When I was gliding, there was a chap, he was an ex -REF flying instructor. Silver white hair, slick back, great big white handlebar moustache. And it's still stuck with me today, so it's probably what, nearly 40 years, uh, nearly 30 years ago now. And uh, he said, Giles, very much like this, Giles, aeroplanes are designed to fly themselves. We just interfere with them. And that for me is, is stuck with me forever. Love it. I love aviation. Darling Moore, traffic, Gold Fox Drop, Whisker Lima, Romeo, dead side for runway 19 right hand. Darling Moore. What not? Blimey. The atmospherics are good today. Speed? Centre line. One for you, Chris. There's where straights foot's off the brake. Speed. Long from ages ago. So, very quick outro for this one. I really hope you enjoyed that. Uh, good discussion point about airspeed indicators um, and why we really, really don't need them. So, uh, well, my thoughts, uh, drop a comment if you want to have a discussion about it. I'm sure it'll be an interesting one, but uh, just my thoughts. Anyway, until next time, everybody, fly safe. Right. You're going to feel weird because you're going to be out of, out of camera shot, aren't you, for most of this? <laughs> <laughs>